And so if you follow those steps, you should get something that looks a bit like this thing at the top. My diagram here is slightly different to yours, but you get these, these big blobs and then lots of little blobs. So the blobs represent a particular sequence type. So this, all of these here on the left are the same species of bacteria. But you know I was saying about these housekeeping genes and you get variants in the housekeeping genes. That's what defines a sequence type. And so the size of the blob represents the number of strains of Staphylococcus aureus that are of that particular sequence type. So you can see in Staph aureus that there's certain sequence types that are quite frequent and some that are less frequent. And we seem to have these kind of stars here, which means that there's single and double, and in this case, even triple locus variants as well. So if you look at this one, and you can see these big blobs, which means that I would say Staph aureus is quite clonal in that respect, because you're getting lots of the same sequence type. So you're getting lots of strains of bacteria that have similar allelic variants in their housekeeping genes. What could you say about this species of bacteria here, do you think? So if this, this is a different species, and each of those dots represents uh, a sequence type. What do you think it means? They're not very similar, exactly, yes. Yeah. So it, it, it's not as clonal. That's right, that's absolutely right, yeah.